Hello, my name is Lindy Johnson. I'm from fastcompany.com and I'm here with Lena West from Zino Media and we are here at South by Southwest 2008 and we just finished doing a panel called Where Are the Black Tech Bloggers? So <laughs> Lena, a lot went down in that panel. A lot. Yes, a lot. I encourage everyone to listen to that <laughs> podcast. Oh, really? You know, I've come to South by Southwest since 2005, I think, and mm. I did two, I moderated two panels before blogging while black. Right. And, and last year, we didn't do anything like that. Uh, first two years I came, we did. But like, we didn't need this kind of sh <laughs> <laughs> anymore, right. right? Like, really, like, come on, do you see black people? Come on. You know black people, don't you by now? Right. And, but then, you know, as some people saw in that panel down there, there was someone who made this video, tech nigga, and it was a white guy. And I don't have a problem with white guys you know, making fun of black folks. I don't, I don't have a problem with that at all. It was, right. it was bad. Right. It was just really bad. He right. did bad blackface. And, and I didn't want to give all that attention to him. Right. I wanted to give it more to us. Right. But you know, he happened to be there. Right. And you and he kind of to the tap right there. Right. How, how, did, how did that make you feel, you know? Um, well, I think it was interesting that he showed up, and I think a lot of people are saying, oh, I give him credit for even showing up. And I think that was his whole intent. His whole intent was to get light. One thing that was cool about us doing the panel where the black tech bloggers was that there were a lot of younger folks than us who yes. came out and wanted to That's see great. folks like us who were representing in this technology industry so that they could say, hey, I could do that too. I, right. I, I can, I really can, you know, right. I think that that's a great inspiration. You and I will probably not be as hard on our kids about technology and different ideas as our parents were on us. I mean, you know, um, when I decided to do this technology thing, I was in a pre-law program at University of Virginia, and my parents had an absolute fit um, when I decided to do and work in technology. And at that point, I didn't really know. All I knew is that technology was the next thing, mm -hmm. and I just was inherently good at it. I got it. I could mm -hmm. understand it. And one of the things that I didn't get to mention on the, mention on the panel is that starts with having a strategy. Right. Like you're saying, how do we figure out whether we're good enough for this job or whether we can do this job or not? It has to do with where are you going in your career? Where do you want to be? And being really clear about that so when the opportunity presents itself, whether it's mainstream media, whether it's urban, doesn't matter. What matters is, is this my, is this my boat? You know, this, is this the boat that I need to be on? You know, is this the SS Lena or is this the SS Kim? Or, you know, right, 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 whose right. boat is this that's right. showing up? And do I need to get on this boat or do I need to let this boat pass? I think there was a gentleman in the audience. He said he owns his own ad agency. And he felt like this generation coming up now uh, was more, you know, beyond race. They were more, I don't know if you call it. Uh, right. Post-race, the <laughs> post-race post generation, right? <laughs> right? But he felt that the 12 to 34 sweet spot that, right. you know, is marketing sweet spot demographic, right. he felt that, you know, this is skateboard culture and hip-hop culture. And, right. And, uh, but no, we don't just listen to hip-hop. They listen to some rock, you know, gym right. class heroes, whatever it is. Right. right in there, but they're all mixed and, and fused together. So there's dis diffusion and fusion all right. together at the same time. How do you feel about that? You do a lot of work in business. Right. Do you see that in that 12 to 34 market that these kids are just getting along to get along as, as you know, my grandmother might say? You know, um, and I know we have to wrap. I'm gonna say this in closing. Um, I have nephews. You know, I have um, an 18, 17 year old nephew and a 21 year old nephew, and he might be 22 now. But um, um, I always tell them, you know, don't make race your issue. Don't you pick up that bag you're always going to be a black man. So as long as you keep that in your mind and then keep on doing whatever it is you want to do, you're good. Right. So you can skateboard with the best of them and you can gym class heroes till the cows come home, but remember where you come from. Right, all right. Well, that is Lindy Johnson and Lena West signing off at South by Southwest. Thank you.